Have you ever wondered what kind of power struggle unfolded in Russia after the demise of Anna Ivanovna in 1740? Anna Ivanovna, the Empress of Russia, from 1730 to 1740, was a woman of significant influence and power. Her reign was marked by a blend of stern governance and elaborate festivities, creating a unique chapter in the annals of Russian history. However, her rule was not without its challenges. She faced opposition from various factions within the nobility and clergy, and her attempts to centralize power and control led to a period of turmoil and uncertainty. Despite these obstacles, Anna maintained her position steadfastly, ruling with an iron hand and an unyielding spirit. In the year 1740, however, her reign came to an abrupt end. The Empress fell gravely ill and eventually succumbed to her illness, leaving behind a legacy of ten tumultuous years on the Russian throne. Her death marked the end of an era, but more importantly, it created a power vacuum in the heart of the Russian Empire. As news of her demise spread, it sent shockwaves through the corridors of power. Anna had no immediate heir to succeed her, and this absence of a clear line of succession led to a period of chaos and confusion. The nobles, the clergy, the military, all were eyeing the throne, each with their own ambitions and interests. The death of Empress Anna Ivanovna was not just the end of her reign, but it was also the beginning of a fierce power struggle. This struggle was not just for the throne, but for the very soul of Russia. It was a battle of wills, a clash of ideologies, and a test of loyalties. In the midst of this chaos, the stage was set for the rise of new powers, the fall of old ones, and the ultimate transformation of the Russian Empire. The demise of Anna Ivanovna was indeed a turning point, a moment that would shape the course of Russian history for the years to come. With her demise, the stage was set for a power struggle that would forever change the course of Russian history. Can an infant rule a vast empire like Russia? This is the question that loomed over the Russian court in 1740 as baby Ivan VI was declared emperor. Not even a year old, Ivan was thrust into a world of political intrigue and power struggles. A world that is overwhelming even for the most seasoned of rulers. Ivan's mother, Anna Leopoldovna, acted as regent during his reign. A regency is a delicate situation at the best of times, but with an infant ruler, it was fraught with even more complications. Anna had to navigate this precarious landscape, making decisions in her son's name while grappling with her own limited experience and the ever-watchful eyes of the court. The challenges were many. There was the issue of legitimacy, with some questioning the right of such a young ruler to the throne. There was the practical matter of governing, as a regency is inherently temporary and decisions made could be reversed once the ruler comes of age. And then there was the constant threat of power-hungry factions, always ready to seize any perceived weakness. Despite these obstacles, Anna Leopoldovna tried her best to rule in her son's name. She was guided not just by her own instincts, but also by a council of advisers. These advisers were chosen for their loyalty and wisdom, but even they could not shield the young emperor and his mother from the challenges that lay ahead. However, it's important to remember that Ivan II, the infant emperor, was more than just a pawn in a larger game. His reign, even though he was too young to understand it, set a precedent and influenced the course of Russian history. The reign of Ivan VI was a turbulent time in Russian history. It was a period of uncertainty, of shifting alliances and power struggles. But it was also a time of potential, a time when a new order could have been established, when the course of history could have been altered. Unfortunately, that potential was never realized. The reign of Ivan VI ended in a coup and the throne was seized by Elizabeth Petrovna. Ivan VI's reign, however short and tumultuous, was a critical chapter in this power struggle. An unlikely heir, a coup and a new ruler the plot thickens. Let's turn our attention to Elizabeth Petrovna, the daughter of Peter the Great, who would play a vital role in this unfolding drama. Born into royalty, Elizabeth was known for her charm, vibrancy and intelligence. Yet her path to the throne was anything but straightforward. In the early hours of November 25th, 1741, Elizabeth staged a coup d'etat. 
With the backing of the Priobrzezhensky Regiment, one of the elite units of the Russian army, she seized power from the regency of Ivan VI. It's worth noting that Elizabeth accomplished this bloodless coup without shedding the blood of a single person, a testament to her diplomatic prowess. Following the coup, Elizabeth was proclaimed as the new Empress of Russia, marking a significant shift in the nation's power dynamics. Amidst the chaos of the power struggle, she managed to secure the throne, a feat that would have seemed impossible just a few years prior. Her magnetic personality and the respect she commanded among the Russian military were instrumental in her ascension. Elizabeth's reign marked a departure from the previous era. She was a ruler who valued peace over war and sought to reform Russia's administration and legal system. Her reign saw a period of relative peace and prosperity, and she was widely loved by her subjects. However, Elizabeth's rise to power wasn't without its challenges. She faced opposition from various factions within Russia, including those loyal to Ivan VI. But she managed to navigate these challenges with a careful balance of diplomacy and force. Despite the odds, Elizabeth proved herself to be a capable and popular ruler. Her reign was characterized by her commitment to peace, her focus on domestic issues and her efforts to modernize Russia. Through her policies, she sought to bring about a sense of stability and unity within the nation. Elizabeth's ascension to the throne was a turning point in Russian history. It marked the end of a tumultuous power struggle and the beginning of a new era. But her reign was far from uneventful, and the ripple effects of her actions would continue to shape Russia for years to come. The tale of Elizabeth Petrovna is one of resilience, courage and determination. It's a reminder of how one person's actions can alter the course of history. As we delve further into her reign in the next scene, we'll see just how significant her impact was. Elizabeth's ascension marked the end of a tumultuous power struggle, but the ripple effects of these events continued to shape Russia. What happens after the dust of a power struggle settles? Well, in the case of Russia, post-1740, the landscape was drastically altered. The power vacuum left by the demise of Anna Ivanovna and the overthrow of Ivan VI was filled by Elizabeth Petrovna and her reign would prove to be a defining era in the history of the Russian Empire. Elizabeth Petrovna, as the new ruler, brought about significant changes. She was known for her charisma and vibrant personality, which she used to her advantage to win the hearts of the Russian people. With the people's support, she was able to stabilize the empire, bringing an end to the tumultuous period of power struggles and establishing a period of relative peace. Elizabeth's reign also marked a shift in the political culture of Russia. She championed the cause of the nobility, reducing the power of the military officers who had dominated the court during the reign of Anna Ivanovna. This was a significant change as it reshaped the power dynamics within the empire, bringing the nobility back into prominence. In terms of foreign policy, Elizabeth adopted a more active stance. She sought to expand Russia's influence and safeguard its interests in Europe. Her successful handling of the Seven Years' War demonstrated her diplomatic acumen and established Russia as a significant power in the European political landscape. However, Elizabeth's reign was not without its challenges. She faced opposition from various quarters, including the Orthodox Church and the nobility. But she navigated these challenges with tact and determination, further solidifying her position as a strong and capable ruler. Elizabeth's reign had a profound impact on future czars and tsarinas. Her policies and strategies became a blueprint for her successors, shaping the way they ruled. Catherine the Great, for instance, was heavily influenced by Elizabeth's reign. She continued Elizabeth's policies of expanding Russia's influence and power. And she also adopted Elizabeth's approach of balancing the power of the nobility and the military. So the power struggle of 1740 was not just a battle for the throne, it was a series of events that shaped the destiny of an empire. The aftermath of this power struggle saw the emergence of a new kind of leadership in Russia, one that was charismatic, tactful and strategic. It saw the introduction of policies that reshaped the political, social and economic landscape of the empire. Most importantly, it set the stage for the reigns of future czars and tsarinas, influencing their policies and approaches to ruling. It was a turning point in the history of the Russian Empire, 
a period that would have lasting implications for generations to come. The power struggle of 1740 was not just a battle for the throne, it was a series of events that shaped the destiny of an empire.